So we'll revert back to the agenda. Tonight is department heads. Animal control officer. What do you got? Well, I got, I'm uh, taking some stray cats this out there. We had a bird that was bound. They went to Bridgeton to go to AB Haven. Got this woman, Kathy, over there that said I'm going to drive all the way to Newry. She will take the bird the rest of the way. <laughs> and then, um, the stray dogs, and then <coughs> fireworks that were let off. I didn't think it was that bad. If my grandson wanted to see it, so I'm driving. So the fireworks, in, and then I find out they're laying it in the pasture over the cattle. And I drove over there to see if everything was okay. They were all sweaty, nostrils blown right out. Hopefully they don't get ammonia. We'll know in another few days. And then, uh, he didn't contact us the county police. All right. And on July 4th, they were shooting fireworks off of their house down there. At where she's talking about. Hmm. And also, the ACO needs to do a better job keeping her animals on the road. There was almost an accident last night right in front of her house because one of her geese was right in the middle of the road coming down there. There was a duck, and that was on my way to get in. That was a duck. That was duck, duck. You, you were not out there. I saw her go out there. I have a piazza where I can see, but I had to run back to the house to get out to the door. You gotta give me a hot minute to get out through the door. Well, they need to be contained so we're not right over the road like that. I mean, as, far, as far as the fireworks go, the person that said that the cattle were being disturbed on July 4th, they were shooting fireworks off at their house. So it could have been too bad. Because I was watching them do it. I don't know. I didn't see them that night. I only saw them the other night. Fire Chief. Big tap with that. We had 10 calls for service over last week. Uh, fire medical, assistant rescue, motorcycle accident, smoke investigation, propane leak, and an electrical issue in a residence. We had a busy 4th of July. Um, still servicing the truck. <coughs> I get a chance. I got two more to go. <coughs> I had six members uh, get certified in wildland firefighting. Bird do the uh, bird labor standards, they gotta be certified. So I had six members do that, which I think is great. Take their time. And uh, I want to thank Cliff for fixing our, in front of our station, one of the trucks go in, there's a pavement sunk, and they fixed it today. It's a lot of in for us, so awesome. Public Safety Building grant has a lot of paperwork for that. I, got, I think I got 85 pages right now. <laughs> but it's just a slow process. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I just had a question. Could we get an update on the, um, the Public Safety Building Committee? Like, how, how's it going? It meets tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Oh, yeah. I didn't know if there were any notes or anything from the meetings. We have we notes, but we haven't really. We're just working on the uh, RFP for just to get a, just to see what the building would cost. What do we call that, Joe? Well, uh, letter of introduction. We're yes. sending out letters of introduction to um, different architects to see if they're interested. We're asking them for letters of introduction. Um, so we've gotten two so far. We expect a couple more, and then after that, we'll uh, um, draw up a uh, RFP and send it out to those that are interested. And um, we'll be asking them to come up with plans and specs for a new building, along with um, we'll see if they have the ability to um, estimate um, so they can give us an idea of where we're at, because the toughest part of this process is going to be to see if we fit into that um, budget that we have and um, if we don't then we have to decide uh, then we need their advice as far as where we can cut back so that we can fit in with that budget and with that being said um, you know we have to spend everything that we're given and uh, the other the other part to that we just spoke about this um, 
at our meeting last week is that um, if we do go over, uh, it can be discussed about asking them for more money. But USDA. Yeah, USDA. Right. And it would still have the same 25% you know, like associated with it. But you know, I, that's down the road. Uh, go enforcement. Uh, so there was the 270 thing, um, Merrill Corner, we talked about that. Uh, we're about, I would say, at least uh, eight to ten building permits behind from where we were last year. Um, and not that it's a comparison, but I always like to see how we do through the years as far as how many buildings are going up and new addresses and stuff like that. So um, we're, we're a little behind where we were last year. I don't know if that's the, you know, the remnants of the election this year being, you know, presidential and all that stuff. But either way, we are a little behind on the bill of first. Today was super busy, though. I will say that. I probably, I probably processed at least five or six new homes today alone. So it was pretty crazy today for whatever reason. Um, we, we, we've got a few. Uh, one guy came in. He's talking about doing a subdivision. Um, so, so that's good. I mean, I, I think that's good for the town revenue. Um, I'm sitting in on the planning board tonight. I, I've got some questions, and, and we're going to discuss a few things. Land use being one of them for the uh, camper ordinance that we have. It's a land use ordinance, but it's, it's to pertain to the campers. Um, and then the other one is subdivisions. And, and I'm just going to be honest with the board. Uh, I don't have a lot of experience with it, so it, it's just something that I want to gain more knowledge on. Uh, as we're moving forward, and subdivisions are coming up and stuff, I just think it's pretty important that, that you know what I mean, I, I'd be attentive and pay attention and, and, and work with the planning board on, on what, you know, what it entails and everything. So, I mean, it, it's been, it was a good day. Yep. Other works? Yes, sir. Um, the safety meetings we used to have, what, how did that fall to the wayside here? We used to have them, I think Bill came up with it and Dickie was doing it, and then it just went away. Um, the safety issues we're having with um, our insurance coming around, we got new employees in this building, and I'm pretty sure if there was fire, they wouldn't know where to meet up. If there was a fire, I, I, I don't know. We need to find somebody that can be the safety guy to come up with these meetings. I would do it, but um, we need to have I left for Dickie was. No. The yeah. selectmen put the safety meeting. I just went and did the building inspections. Which, um, and then the select board, well, Dick put up the gallon chairman, we'd have one quarterly. And anything that we find would go. If that's where you discuss the safety issues. When you bring your department heads in and talk about them and make a recommendation and fix them. So, 